Okay, here's an early morning taste challenge and I won't be on for too long. Uh, Canadian Club, 1858, introduction time, uh, year, 80 proof versus Kentucky Deluxe, introduced, a lot of glare from that lamp, introduced 1969, 80 proof. Blended American whiskey, blended Canadian whiskey. Beam Suntory, Sazerac. Okay, uh, following yesterday's rather disastrous events, and what I mean is I uh, did McCormick. I, I made a mistake in that one. First of all, I said it was it's still independent McCormick, but it's not owned by the original family. They were bought out by other people, but it's not one of the big distilleries. Uh, but when I did that one, I right off the bat said, oh, yeah, obviously um, Canadian Club. And then I went on and on and talked about the different flavors and I think I, and aromas. And I think I got that correct. I was wrong. <laughs> I had it mixed up. So you think you know, but then a lot of times you don't know intrigued now somebody said you you have what did the, he say something like you have a fixation on Canadian Club I said no I just happen to have this bottle <laughs> and anytime I drink these whiskeys or brandies or gins or beer or wine or sherry or Madeira or Marsala wine they like a little adventure so then I want to share the adventure so instead of just sipping them down I want to do the taste challenges, make it more of an adventure. And plus, these little exercises help. I think they help the person develop a better different whiskeys, the different cognacs, the different brandies, and be better, have a better handle on how they're supposed to be and whatnot. And even if that isn't true, it's fun to do it. So, but like I said, this is not going to go on for too long. All right. Uh, so I have the CC here, Canadian Club. <clears throat> And interestingly, it's a brown plastic bottle. Most of the plastic bottles you'll notice are just clear. So set that over there. And then we have the Kentucky Deluxe. I know the light is too bright shining on, but you can look up on the Sazerac website to see different bottle uh, shots. Um, I posted a link to both websites down below. They both have excellent photos of the bottles. All right. So Kentucky Deluxe Canadian Club. Uh, the appearance is virtually identical, that lighter shade of amber, OK? Um, I have not ever seen Kentucky Deluxe in this area. I bought that bottle, bottle, in Eagle Pass, Texas. Did an initial solo review, review of it. So they had different bottle sizes out there. I, I you know, figured 200 would be enough, 200 milliliters. And I bought the McCormick out there, and they were 650 total after well I should say not after tax because there is no sales tax added there it's just all embedded in the price so 650 not the best value per ounce but I learned my lesson and Jeff Lyons was backing me up on that when you see something you don't think you may ever get it again but then you pass it up and say I'll get it later then you never see it again and you don't get it later too many bad experiences with that. So now I'll pay a little extra to get it. <clears throat> I didn't buy that Jack Daniels green label in Fort Stockton, Texas. I'll, I'm going to feel funny if I never see it again. It's not even sold in Louisiana. And how many times have I done that with beer? Too many times to mention. All right. So I've got them well mixed. All right. Take off the glasses. Don't need them on. 
I'm not going to jump the gun on this one. I'm not going to say, oh, I know, I know, I know what it is. It's a strong antiseptic from the one on my, in my left hand. It's um, the same thing, but it's a flatter aroma. Flat. I don't mean in the, obviously there's no carbonation. It just, there's, it's just generic. And that's making me think right off, it's making me think, I'm not going to make a pronouncement, but I'm thinking this right here is the Kentucky Deluxe because I noticed the Kentucky Deluxe and the Kentucky Dale and probably all the other blended whiskeys from Sazerac have that same flat thing, probably the car stairs. But I did did a solo review of car stairs. I didn't do a side by side. It seemed a little richer and more bountiful in the aroma and flavor, but I'm going to have to do some exercises with that too, right? Because the man who cares says car stairs. White seal introduced in 1940. <clears throat> there's some oak, there's some vanilla, there's some standard whiskey, but it's all very muted. I don't know if Kentucky Dale, Kentucky Deluxe is being purchased by people that are going to sit down and do these. I seriously doubt it. I doubt the Canadian club people are. I saw people drinking Canadian club, club last night, by the way, at the Knights of Columbus Hall, and they seem to be enjoying it. They were all making mixed drinks. With it, father was drinking his Jameson with the bottle marked for Father Pat only. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this has a little sweeter presentation, a little more floral, a little more oak, and all of these things. But it's not strong. This is not strong or bold or any of those things. And I don't think that the regular Canadian club, which is age six years, which is a lot more than your standard today, because it's usually three years. But I don't think it's meant to be too bold. Uh, you can get some other Canadian clothes that are probably a much bolder um, thing. All right, let's go with the taste. So, yeah, vanilla, oak. Whiskey, you know what that tastes like. Um, floral, like candy sugar or something. Mint, winter green. <clears throat> Evergreen, I don't know, it's... um. Got all those little, all right, let's go with the taste here. It's got that flatness. Not bad, now I'm not saying this bad, that bad is off, it's. I saw Hartley Brand, morning Matthew, Matthew says morning Jay, morning Matthew. Hartley Brandy yesterday, now all the stores here today, around here now are saying Hartley VSOP used to be VS, but it's six ninety nine for that seven hundred fifty milliliter bottle. Some stores will have it on sale for five ninety nine. I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. I was like, I had too much of a bad experience with that Hartley, and I just had a four hundred milliliter, no, or was it two hundred milliliter bottle? I can't remember. It was just you know, and then I saw the Hartley peach and the Hartley apple, and I said, I don't, I don't want to do it. That had like a frankly bad flavor. That was the only thing I ever had from Sazerac that was just outright bad, like a D. I finished it, but I didn't like any. There wasn't any sip I ever had that was good. The aroma was fine, just like they described on the website, too, exactly as described on the two Sazerac websites that talk about Hartley. But the taste was just no good. Okay. 
So in the left hand, the more developed flavors, it does taste like it's aged longer. Here, the flatter, like I say, not bad. Little paperiness, and it's age three years, I believe. And uh, you're getting that 80% grain neutral spirits. All the flavors coming from the 20% whiskey, okay? Whatever Sazerac whiskey they're using. You know it's not Sazerac rye. Well, who knows what it is? They're not going to tell you. Even if you go to Buffalo Trace and take the tour, they're just going to say, well, you know, we blend various items together, et cetera. Okay, this is the Bardstown Distillery. Uh huh, Bardstown. That's over there. <clears throat> west of Frankfurt, southwest. Okay, there's a 1792 tour there. From what I understand, it's fabulous. I'd like to go to that distillery and then go up the road to Frankfurt and check the Buffalo Trace. Both both tours are free. Sazerac doesn't charge any money for their tours, and you can even take the hard hat tour. All the other distilleries, they want to charge you $10, $15, whatever. I mean, you may as well go with what's the better value, right? Kind of hard to beat free. So I'm going to call it now um, on this short tasting. Um, I have things to do this morning. Um, I think the one here, what I'm describing as the flatter taste, is the Kentucky Deluxe. And I'm going to feel funny if I say that because... You know, Canadian, if I'm wrong, because the Canadian club is more touted, it's more well-regarded, it's more expensive. A 750 milliliter glass bottle of that is $12 on average, and the Kentucky Deluxe is about $9 on average, maybe eight if you find it on sale. So we're talking about a pretty significant price difference, 25% more. So let's see, I think I have it right though. I think this is Kentucky Deluxe with the flatter taste. Yes, Kentucky Deluxe. And I and I think if I do the Kentucky Dale, it's gonna be the same exercise. But I might do it now. You might say, you're wasting my time, you know, with these videos. You know, just don't, I would say just don't watch it. You know, I can understand that you wouldn't want to see me look at it, look at this from all these different angles. Same thing with those beer challenges. People say, you're looking at Magnum from too many different angles. Magnum malt liquor, for instance. You know, my, I, I liked doing it. <laughs> There's videos other people make. I just don't watch them. I don't, you know, complain about it. So this is the Canadian club. So yeah, it's, this was pretty obvious. But you know, the other one was McCormick. So what is that telling you? It's telling me that the McCormick from Missouri, west of Missouri, is much more complex for a budget whiskey. Okay. Now that's got me thinking you should try the McCormick Gin, which I did see yesterday. So you say, well, all those cheap whiskeys, they're all the same. They're all the same. Apparently not. That is apparently not the case. Same thing with cheap beer and cheap wine. It's not all the same. And it's certainly not all bad. Some of it is bad. But you don't know until you try it, right? So don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge an alcoholic beverage by its price. Just try it, I would say. So thank you for watching this video production. I got this one right. So now I think I'll do the Against Canadian Club. And then we'll we'll get into that car stairs. That should be interesting. I, I was fascinated by that find. So let's see, any other comments? No? Okay, well, good morning, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend. And we'll be back here with you soon enough, I believe. Thank you for watching this video production.